Good afternoon, good evening. Today is November 22nd, 2021. Welcome to the Julie and Milo show. My name is Julie Nguyen. I'm coming to you from Orange County, California. My lovely friend Milo is coming from the other side of the country. Milo, could you please say hello? Hey, how are you guys doing? It's Milo from Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you, Milo. Milo, we're getting so close to Thanksgiving. In a few days here in the United States, we are celebrating Thanksgiving. And I think it's a great season to actually think of the things that have happened in our life. And I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you for giving me the best gift of life, which is on passive. And on within on passive, we do have a, such a beautiful community of people around the world. And I'm thankful for that as well. And we all know today we are having a special guest coming join us today. And without further ado, let's bring him on uh, the show. All my right, name. Julie. Well, I'm thankful for you also because you've made my team uh, uh, a lot better. And uh, we've, we've had fun doing it. And every day we get to visit with... Uh, founders and you know no difference in the day but a special one today this guy is a presenter and a half man i love his presentation style it's none other than mr david angelic dave angelic come on out brother hey how you doing david so good to have you on the show this morning absolutely hello david good to have you here and i know i called you david but hello dave good to have you here and thank you for being here with us you can call me whatever you want, darling. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> You're so sweet. Thank you. Julie, I, I certainly appreciate uh, the invitation. All right, Dave. <laughs> me and Julie say we're the most blessed people in the world. We get to talk to founders every day. And uh, you're one of them. So, hey, we like to know a little bit more about uh, the founders. So who is Dave Angelic? Where was he born? How about his mom and dad, his siblings, and his family now? Tell us a little about that. Sure. Well, I'm originally from Medicine Hat. Um, my mother and father. Um, my mom is my mother's name is is Ruby, and she is the shining jewel of our family. And uh, she's 91 years old, and we're we're lucky to have her. And uh, my father passed away a couple of years ago, and he was an immigrant from uh, Eastern Europe. So, uh, you know, that's part of part of my background and I have uh, two brothers one older and one younger and a sister that is uh, younger than me um, and uh, for my family well it's kind of just me right now and all my brothers and sisters and their kids and grandkids so uh, yeah I, I'm blessed to have uh, a great family. Wow wow thank you Dave for sharing that with us. I've read your bio and I've seen so many interesting things that you have done. You in 40 years plus, plus in the business career, 15 years of food industry. I mean, you've traveled to Europe. You spent, what, nine months in Europe. Um, please tell us, take a take few minutes and tell us what are the things that you want us to know? Because it's a long list that you have here. <laughs> take one or two, please share with us. Well, you know, one of the things that uh, in, my, in my business career that I was very, very lucky is that uh, I was able to have my dream job. And uh, when I was back in the food and drug business, um, I was with a, a multinational company um, and I was stationed in Winnipeg. And at that time, they had a, a downsizing of, of the company and they, uh, they slashed 2,500 jobs worldwide. And unfortunately, uh, one of them was mine. But um, at that time, they, they uh, allowed us to have a, a, a career counselor. 
And I remember talking to him and he said, well, what, what is your dream job? And I said, well, I always wanted to work in sports. And um, so a number of years later, um, three, four, five years later, it was uh, that I got that opportunity. I, um, I got to move back to my hometown of Medicine Hat. And uh, I joined the Medicine Hat Tigers Hockey Club of the Western Hockey League. And uh, I gave them a promise of uh, two years to uh, help them um, get things settled. And uh, so two years turned into 24 years. So I never, I never left Medicine Hat. My plans were to go back into, you know, into the big corporate world. But uh, I came home and I got settled and, uh, you know, my family was here. I got to see my mom and dad grow to the age that they, they are. And, uh, you know, so that, that I think is probably one of the highlights of, of uh, what I've done. Wow. Wow. And I see you've got a lot of hobbies. Uh, you fish year round, you open water and ice fishing. You like yeah. ice fishing? It's cold, man. That's Canada for you. Man. <laughs> it, 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 it makes you tough being in that cold weather. Yeah, do you have a shanty? Yeah, I do, but I, I prefer actually to sit outside. Yeah, I know up in Michigan, a lot of them guys got shanties, man, and they're just like motel rooms or whatever. Yeah, right? it, it, it's amazing what, what some of the, the shacks are on the ice there. Yeah, it's yeah, you're right. It's like a luxury hotel. Yeah, sure. it's crazy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, uh, back to I, you. I, I see that you love action movies. What kind of action movies do you watch? Well, I just watched the new James Bond last week, and it was the first time I'd been to a movie theater in probably three years. So it, uh, yeah, that that type of that type of, of movie. The spy Me too. Stuff, the fun, yeah, yeah. Me too. So without even give any details, did you like it? Did you? Was it like awesome, or was it, it like? Was, it was very good. It was very good. It was good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 So. So I, I think Daniel Craig was was one of the best bonds beside Sean Connery. Right, right. Well, that's great. I'm looking forward to see it. Anyway, sure. um, Dave, we, we are here because of On Passive, and many of us here do know that On Passive is a blessing, is a gift for all of us. And I know that you are a very active leader in On Passive as well, and especially you are an active presenter in the Julian Milo Show, when you've decided to do it, you take your whole time effort and you went in and you finished all the presentations that Milo have prepared for all of us. So please tell us a little bit about your unpassive journey. When did it start? How did you hear about it? And what made you take the action to become a founder and then do what you do and show up to every webinars and you know take the invitation to like, okay, I'm going to do the uh, the presenter series. It's a long, lengthy questions, but um, yes, <laughs> please tell us. Well, in uh, when COVID hit, um, it, it turned the automotive industry upside down, and, and that's what I was doing at the time. And uh, again, it was you know the second time in my career that I found myself not having a job. So that was that was March. 22nd of 2020. So I've dibbled and dabbled online for, you know, a number of years. And like everybody else, you know, you don't make any money, but you spend a lot of time on it. And, and uh, so I decided um, I wanted to see, find something new, but I wanted to find something that was going to allow me to bring people with me instead of you know, recruiting people and nothing happens. Um, you know, I did that in a couple of businesses where, you know, you get 100, 200 people and, and they don't do anything. But so I was looking and looking and I was online and I came across a, um, a video that was uh, done by a fellow out of Texas. And uh, I, I watched his video and then um, there was a link in there to to get more information. And then I saw the, the two videos that Ash did early on. And, you know, once I saw that, I went, you know what, 
I think this is what I'm looking for. And uh, so I, I joined up that day and uh, you know, the rest is, the rest is history. And it's, it's just been, um, you know, I wanted, one thing I liked about, about being in other companies is that I made some, some real good friends there. And um, that's a part that I really enjoy about on passive is all the people that you get to meet. Um, so, uh, you know, I just dug in and I started attending the, the webinars and listening to Red and to Marty and to Chris and, and coming to your guys' show and, you know, as many as I could. And you no, know, one thing with, with what I do now is my driving gig is that it allows me uh, plenty of time to, to stay engaged. Now, while I'm driving, I'm, I'm listening to the various webinars and shows and that. So I can kind of stay on top of it and then I can move that on to, uh, to my small team. Right. How, how, what, what, what kind of impact has Unpassive have made in your life to this point? Well, I, I, I think, you know, it definitely coming in, I was, I was looking for income. And, uh, you know, we, we have that in spades, that's taken care of, that, that's not a worry anymore. But the human, humanitarian side of things, you know, the, the big hearts that I see here of, of people and, and what they want to do and, and all the different uh, programs and, and people that they want to help, you know, that, that to me is, is huge. I've, I've got my list of things that I want to do, um, you know, once we get rolling. Uh, as of does um, most of the founders, you know, that we have here in our passive. Absolutely. And uh, I have two more questions. The first one is that what make you take the action to say, I'm going to become a presenter uh, for the Julian Milo show. Not only that, you did all the presentation on your own. What, what come through at your, what come through at that time when you decided I'm going to do this and I'm going to put it out there to share that to people. Well, the thing is, I've, I've never done anything like that before. So I wanted to take the opportunity to um, to do it. And, uh, you know, Milo, I, I know how much time it takes for you to record everything and then edit it and, and uh, get it all ready to go. So um, I have some of, some of those skills in a small way. So I decided, well, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to try to give Milo a break and I'll, I'll do my, my own editing and that. So, um, yeah, and uh, I just thought, you know, it's a new experience. I was seeing other people do it, um, and I thought, you know what, if they can do it, I can do it. So, um, yeah, that's basically the reason the reason that I that I did it. And and you know what, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Absolutely, and uh, yes, you make Milo happy too. He got some time to take some more naps. <laughs> <laughs> I need him. Oh, yes. All right. The last question for me is that, you know, um, this week in the U.S. is the Thanksgiving week. And I know that there is something for all of us to be grateful for. Um, if Mr. Ash was to listen to this video, what would you say to him? Well, Ash, you know, I am absolutely thankful for what you and all of the people uh, in India have done and, and the work that you put into this. Um, and, you know, it's, it's evident that you're not doing it for yourself, but you're doing it for the million plus people that we do have here in on passive and, and for that and what it's going to do for me and my family and the projects that, that I'm interested in, you know, I can't say thank you enough for, uh, for what you've done for us. All right, Dave, I love your heart. I love your passion. And I've loved all you did for own passive. You really stepped up to the plate in a big way. And, uh, you know, like Julie was talking about, uh, you know, you, you actually do your own presentations and you send them over to me. It cuts down my time a lot. I appreciate that <laughs> very much. Uh, I do every now and then get a nap in, you know, but I need those, you know, I'm getting old, I guess. But uh, anyway, and thanks for what you said about Ash blessing us. I feel the same way. And, you know, <clears throat> when we first come into this and, and you know, we, we come into it, and, and I remember the quote by Ash. Ash said, I might not be able to change the world, but I can change somebody's world. And then I said, hey, on passive is changing the world, one person at a time. And it started with Ash McFarl. Now, you put those two quotes together, and it's a big accomplishment that we are going to do to this world. I mean, on the humanity, you talked about the humanity side. Because 
when we first talk to uh, founders, it's like, what is it going to do for me? And then all of a sudden, our heart and our mind gets more where ash is. And we realize it's much bigger than that. This is about humanity. This is how we're going to help the world. This is things we're going to do. So I got two questions for you. Number one is, what are the apples going to do for you, Mr. Dave Angelic and the family, you know, personally? And the second one is, what are what are your other goals that you have, uh, charities or helping people? And how are you going to succeed at that? Or what are you going to do with that? Um, well, well, personally, um, you know, I think like most everybody, it's going to, it's going to pay bills, right? It's going to take that day-to-day -day worry away from us. Um, and, you know, with, with my family, what I've done is I've got multiple, multiple accounts and I'm putting a couple of them aside just for my nieces and nephews. They're all going to, all going to share in this. And uh, um, also I've been able to um, get a couple of, of, um, accounts for people less fortunate than myself that you know I've come in contact with some are family some aren't um, that you know they're they're going to have an account um, other than that um, on the charity side um, unfortunately medicine hat uh, we're a, a community of 60,000 people in the last couple of years we've had a real rash of suicides in uh, the mail uh, population in between the 30 and 40 um, years of age and uh, you know it, it's it's reaching double digit figures and there was a foundation that was started it's called the inner man project and it's to help um, people men and women that uh, that suffer from um, depression and, and mental illness and, and things like that and and um, I've experienced that. So that's something that uh, I really want to help with. And uh, if I can, can do that in a financial way to keep the project running, that's certainly something I, I want to do. Um, I was very lucky when I was with the hockey team that I worked with a lot of different charities, helping them raise money at, at the games and, and things like that that we supported. So one of those um, was uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters, you know, helping the kids that uh, are from single parent families, and uh, you know that is that's a big part of it. And I want to also try to put in a fishing um, component to that, where if I can, I want to try to get a, a bunch of fishermen together where we take kids out fishing and teach them to fish. And um, yeah, I, I think if I get working on all of that that's going to keep me busy for a while oh that's an that's an awesome idea you know and with the fishing thing the cool thing is you can actually set it up where you have a spot and you have each of the fishermen buy a spot underneath you and then you you guys will have more than enough to take those kids wherever you want to and do whatever you want to there's just so many potentials with on passive you know when you buy a spot and then you let it build and it's not like you're giving the money to them, you're giving them a spot that's going to continually generate money over and over right. and over. Beautiful thing about own passage, the giving part. Yeah, yeah, ab absolutely. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the thing. It, it, it's one thing to give somebody the money. But the other thing is, if you can, if you can teach them and show them how to run this simple business for themselves, it's, it's just, I think there's just so many more rewards doing it that way, you know, so. Absolutely. I mean, even if you think of big brothers and big sisters, you know, if you have a, if you have a spot called big brothers and big sisters, and every time you get money in it, you take a, take that out and you give it to someone that's that, you know, that needs it. A, a, I think they, they work with like a little smaller children, right? Yes. Yes. So you could give them a spot. And you know, the cool thing is, even if they don't do anything with it, it still blesses you and it blesses them because it has to because of the success that's, you know, that's going to happen with uh, with on passive because it doesn't matter if you're in, you win. That's the statement. You know, if you're in, you win. That's all people's got to know. But I, I feel like, uh, and correct me if, I, if, if, if I'm wrong, if you don't think the same thing, but I think once that people start seeing money drop into that wallet, they're going to tell other people about it. 
And once they tell other people about it, it grows your team, it grows their team, you know, and it's, it's just a wonderful thing to be able to give to someone and they're actually giving back to you. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, because I think anything that we do with on passive is that um, when other people get blessed, it blesses us, right? The person who introduced them to it uh, in, 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 in whatever way you want to, you want to look at it. Uh, but yeah, absolutely. You know, and, and you're right, Milo. It's, I mean, how many times, how many times have you, uh, well, I talked about the movie today. How many times have you told somebody about, you know, a, a restaurant that, that you like, you know, the word of mouth uh, with this is going to just fly. Absolutely. It's a beautiful thing. And, and even like uh, Julie, you know, mentioned that uh, she was thankful that I gave her the gift. Mm -hmm. But the truth of it is, the gift she gave back to me is is huge. It's it's right. bigger than what I gave her. You know, I gave her just a seed, and she's turning it back into into fruits. You know, for me and for her. You know, so it's a good it's good. It's a win 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 situation. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, and and one of the things that I that I've I've really enjoyed is I think we all know uh, Polly Cherry. Yeah, and uh, Polly is in Calgary, which is just three hours up the road from me. So, you know, I've struck up a friendship with her, and and, and we've been able to uh, meet uh, with some of the founders in, in Calgary, um, which was was fabulous. You know, and that's the kind of thing that when you're getting into business, you don't always think of, and uh, you know, it's it's certainly certainly a big benefit uh, that I've enjoyed. Absolutely. Absolutely. It, and it's actually beautiful how so many of us get together and, uh, you know, you know, get to know each other. And it's all started with on passes. Very cool. Milo, I know you have a couple more, a few more or one more. Well, I was going to say that, Julie, I was saying for that $97, what we've got in return is incredible. We know people all over the world. And, and really, I hear, I think it's Cedric says, I travel all over the world and I don't even have to pack a suitcase. You know, and that is the truth, you know, and and we meet so many people and and we could go, we could travel around the world and have people in, in different spots that know us and, you know, go over there and get to know the culture, get to know the country. It's incredible the value that is packed into Own Passive. It's much bigger than just Own Passive. It's more family. It's more. It's I can't even tell you what I think because it's it just blows my mind how much value we get out of it. Back to you, Julie. Absolutely. Um, Dave, I know I've never asked this question with any of guests that coming in, so I'm just gonna ask it anyway. Um, when, I'm gonna use the word money, when the money hitting your wallet, right? Doesn't matter what the amount, what would be the first thing that you will buy? For example, to me, when it hit my wallet, I want to go buy a nice pair of sunglasses just to just to cool off my eyes, right? So that's as little as just a, a pair of sunglasses. So wanted to ask you, what would be the first thing that you would spend for you? Well, I've I've already thought about this, and uh, you know, you're gonna maybe think it's silly, but I want to buy new bath towels. <laughs> <laughs> Because I've got some ratty old ones there that need to be replaced. So. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's just as simple as bath towels or sunglasses. What would you buy, Milo? <laughs> Man, I don't even know. I'd probably go get me something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> something healthy, something good? I don't know about healthy. I'm <laughs> Well, I should be, right? <laughs> You should. You should. Yeah. Otherwise, you have an earful from me. <laughs> well, Milo, Milo, I'll let you know my favorite food group is ice cream. Oh, Ooh. mine too. I love ice cream, man. That'll get me every time. It ain't okay, good. Now, you, now you guys are talking about ice cream. What flavor? Dave? Um, I like the chocolate vanilla swirl. Ooh. What about you, Milo? I like a, a Snickers Blizzard. Oh wow! Or, or a peanut butter Blizzard. Either one of them will work. Wow! Oh, I just have the simple espresso. You know, just the coffee ice cream just makes me happy. 
boring. <laughs> Milo was like, ah. <laughs> that definitely won't be on my list. Not, not even down the list of ways. Well, make sure when I do visit you, please keep a container there. <laughs> uh, Dan, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, any last words, Dave? Well, any anybody who is viewing this that is not a founder, you know, please consider it. You know, get in, you will win. We have a great family here to help you um, move along through the journey. And uh, yeah, just just get in. Thank you for that, Milo. Any last words from you, Milo? Yeah, thanks, Dave, for joining us today. And any of you that haven't seen Dave's presentations, man, go look at them on the Julian Milo. Yours are great videos, you know. And I encourage anyone if they want to use them, man, send them out. Uh, you know, listen to him. He does a great job with it. Thank you so much for joining on Passive and being uh, friends with the Julian Milo Show. Back My to pleasure. You. Back to you, Julie. Absolutely. Dave, thank you so much for being here and thank you for being a presenter of, on, of the Julian Milo Show. It's very true. Everyone, if you haven't listened to the presentation or if you haven't shared uh, a presentation to anyone, uh, Dave Angelic has a beautiful playlist in the Julian Milo Show. All you got to do is go to our channel and click on playlist and you'll be able to see his whole playlist there. It's best to keep these handy because if you are talking to someone, a musician, a singer or a teacher or, 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 or a charity, I mean, you have it handy to share. And remember, then Julie and Milo show, we don't put personal link on there. All you got to do is share the video at your personal link or have them get back to you just so that you have something handy uh, to share with the people that you talk to every day. So thank you so much, Dave Angelic, for being here with us, everyone. Uh, that's Dave Angelic's story. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, we do hope that you are enjoying the Julian Milo Show's Founders interview and also all the materials that we put out there to you. Um, if you haven't become a, a subscriber of, on, of Julian Milo Show, please click the button, subscribe, and the bell. Uh, just so that everything that, that we do put out there, uh, you get them right away. And especially look forward to the daily inspiration uh, by Curtis David. He's put it out every single day, evening, and you'll get to see them in the morning. Don't forget, because those are very inspired, inspiring. Thank you so much, Dave. Thank you, everyone, for the, watching the Julie and Milo show today. We do hope that you stay well, stay healthy, and be thankful. There is something to be grateful for. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Good night from Orange County, California. Good night from Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada. Good night from Nashville. Listen to